we're live. Hello, everybody. This is Vendor Advent. Welcome back to the Letter of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom for what will be the penultimate episode. Yeah, this is the stallion. Look how huge he is. And I need him for this shrine quest over here. I literally need to show this guy my big horse. Be a light out of nowhere because I activated the shrine. Need something for me? A horse! That horse! It's even bigger than I imagined! The widely rumored giant stallion! Horse is winning to me in my dreams! There it is! In the flesh! It's giant! It's a horse! It's a giant horse! I felt so lucky to be alive! Thank you so much for introducing me to this wonderful once in a lifetime horse. Thank you for this crystal making my horse the best looking beast the world's ever seen. Mm. That giant stallion you showed me? I realize I've been a fool. No proving on a horse, any horse, they're perfect to begin with. Won't be needing the crystal. Do whatever you want, like with it. So you can't yeah customize uh, the horse because it's so big, uh, nothing else will fit on it, no other harnesses, and it's so uh, wild that you can't style its mane as well. I also yeah activated uh, this shrine, which is also yeah just sitting up there. <laughs> Yeah, I did end up, yeah, uh, finding this shrine down here, which is just a blessing. Hmm. <laughs> Actually, the way I uh, got through the uh, little prison area was kind of funny. Where I just used Ultra Hand to, uh, to literally lift those plates uh, in front of that hole. Because there's a switch inside, so I reached through the bars with Ultra Hand flip the switch and that opened both the cage and the way uh, to the shrine. And the other cave nearby, the poop head cave, was just, yeah, both looks at it. There's nothing notable in there. I ended up uh, marking off a few more caves over here, uh, yeah, by yeah, this corner. Mm -hmm. So we got, we got this cave here. We got a Misko's treasure in there, but I couldn't figure out how to make it work. Mm -hmm. And the other one I ended up doing, uh, or activating in some way, also, yeah, this right by the shrine here. Was this one the Mapla Point Cave? Or apparently somewhere uh, there's a bottle you can find that tells you, "Hey, please come here and rescue me." Then he's just like, "I, I found him," and he's just like, "You didn't find my bottle? What? Who cares? You're here. I can get out." So yeah, that was a little funny. But yeah, today is we have more shrines, shrines, shrines. Hmm. Because if I any shrines I don't finish today, I will be waiting to do. Uh, so, uh, off camera. Mm -hmm. I could probably turn some of these in now, though. And I'd probably leave, uh, yeah, do all shrines but one. So I could, yeah, get that final, uh, orb and see what unlocks from it. Yeah, my 
again this one is just floating up in the air well not floating up in the air but yeah just as it was gliding I could literally just look down and see it forward. I couldn't catch up to it. This would be climbable. It's not climbable. I missed the jump. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> Try to see if I can attach that and lift it up. I gotta do that just right. <laughs> I bet you that's not falling. Standing on it, so it won't let me move it. There we go. I know what to, to, to do here. I think I can actually do it even better, but Thank <laughs> you. 
there for a good while. <laughs> okay, that I didn't. Oh, I was expecting this to launch me, to be honest. And it didn't, so... Whoops! Let's get swatted! Get a bonk! Ready? Maybe that's the way to go. I'm going to try that again. I believe this is the cave that leads there. So we'll go here to jump down. I love impact proof. I'll admit there's a certain part of me that just wants to try to blow them all up with a bomb flower or a bomb arrow. I decided, nah. Yeah, 
apparently the uh, sneak strike uh, multiplier for is uh, times eight multiplier. But yeah, that improved sneak strike makes it a plus sixteen. So so whenever I yeah attack with it, it's like I'm y y making a strike worth uh, for a weapon that's power of ninety six. That's obviously something. The only question is, do I shoot through it or do I glide through it? We got a puzzle here. Zonai hid a treasure in this cave long ago. Clues as follows. Zonai Zonai Spear for wing from the pedestal to the ring. Okay. I think, uh, oh yeah, basic Zonai Spear is something I'm missing a photo of. Yep. Or, uh, no, it's Zonaite, not Zonite. into existence over there.
because apparently this spear is also one of these photograph. I think I since I like I've been yeah, experienced this more and so just like looking at stuff online more. Yep. I've heard that a lot of people uh uh just oh wait no. uh find this game uh way easier to break than uh Rust of the Wild. While I haven't, uh, I haven't actually seen what it looks like, there's a very popular build that's effectively called, uh, the Hover Bike. That's apparently, like, one of the best things you can build. And apparently, yeah, just the amount of maneuverability that gets you can... We break the game. Like, how, like certain temples, like uh, the water temple, can you just fly up to whatever spot you need to go to? Okay, this one is a quest. He's born of water. This is exactly where it is. He's born of water. Mm -hmm. Water can sometimes change its form. put water in a pot. Oh. Mm -hmm. Master of Underpants Excellence. Mm -hmm. So this director purely because I thought their outfit is so unfashionable that it'd be fashionable. Hell, Underpants to Bakke may realize that could have to be a surveyor of ruins. <laughs> Being myself yet again, fashionable fashion is still last year anyway. Shoe cheek never goes out of style. Ooh, a certain thing near her. It's me, the one and only member of the fashion survey team. Huh. 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 
like actually yeah, like dip this in the water and fill it up. I'm pretty sure it's like it's like water, ice, and steam. God, I was just trying to get like a stockpile of them. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
so glad like the first piece I the small piece I bought back I just decided to try and fit in and it fit perfectly talked about it yet, but yeah, we had that in the wreck earlier today, and yeah, it was definitely a good direct. It wasn't like a wow thing. There wasn't really uh, any one thing that, yeah, really made you go, oh my god. The biggest uh, oh my god I had was the re re reveal that there actually 
making another Super Princess Peach. I mean, the last one was on the DS in like 2006 or something like that. Real hardcore Mario fans definitely uh, had a good showing today. Cause yeah, like the whole oh, I put this on the remaster of uh, Super Mario RPG caught everyone by surprise. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks incredibly fun. Cannot wait to test it out, but it uh, it comes out at just about the same time as Persona Five Tactica. Mm -hmm. I think they might be on the same day. Even I have to. Rewatch stuff. And well, I would definitely agree that I'm uh, feeling some of the Persona 5 uh, fatigue. For me, the thing that's uh, annoys me more about all the Persona 5 stuff, how like the extra games and spinoffs. Oh wait, I forgot these are just here. Is that they all use base Persona 5? So, stuff like Sumire or even like the new characters from Strikers, they just. At best, they could be just like DLC character bonuses in Tactica. And I really don't like that. Yeah, because like Strikers, I can definitely. Uh, there's some understanding of the fact that. When, uh, that, that game and Royal were kind of in parallel development. So some of the uh, stuff crossing over, or like, not crossing over, I can understand on a level. But now it's just like, oh, come on. I want the expanded cast. Definitely, like, uh, like the two, yeah, like Sumire, then Kichi, and Sophia all could, yeah, like, add different things. Yeah, because, like, yeah, like, Sumire could very, uh, work well in a, like, a, as a high mobility type character. So there's, yeah, hiding a little passage. Third healer type. So you then have three characters who are have the yeah, native healing abilities.
Mikey, I think, would be a good combo, especially if you can pull by those. Yeah, not having a judicial element to mean just, yeah, like, Megiddo's and, uh, buffing and debuffing. So, yeah, he, like, feels like a very different character niche. Yeah, Samiri also has, yeah, like, a light element as well, as well. But she also, yeah, like, has a good showing of physical stuff, so she can definitely be good balance. This new character, I will not be surprised in the least if she has a nice heavy light element uh, in her skill set. Mm -hmm. Let me talk. This is an, yeah, like another entrance or exit or whatever. I think yeah, the bubble frog is likely just wait, truffle. Shock lights. Yeah, we're in a very wet environment. I briefly saw through the world. Yep. I, I, 
Did I not get the cave over here marked off? Crap. I might not have. Back Bay King. Oh, that's just right there. Hit him with lightning inside the cave. We gotta drain the water. Kind of like, oh, it's just there. No, it isn't. A retraced path, huh? Definitely. That is too easy. I gotta stay that way, okay. <laughs> the real question is, how, where's the treasure chest and how do I get to it?
This one. I actually got two here. Yeah, I gotta get crystal from a cave behind the waterfall. <laughs> Find a lot of those. I take these just so like the chest is I you could say marked. Completed. to get a glider to put it on. 
Novob! Where are you? There. Crystal.
climb over this way. And enter, yeah, the Road East Cave. to remind myself that after this one, go turn in my orbs. I've got the silver moblin. Got a nice big spiky bog. Satisfying about breaking yet yeah, four of those at once. But God, do I wish there was a thing I could fuse to an arrow to make it fly in a straight line. Thank you. I like love the shrine over there. So it's on this center island.
come on! The blood moon's happening right at this moment! That's always the worst time to have a blood moon happen when you're in the middle of a battle! So just this is a big reset button! Party elixir. So I have 24, so yeah, that's good for quite a few heart containers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let the whole squad bunch up so you can hit them all at once, which I was doing. Let's go to my house where I have the shrine. Yeah, Dinral coming out of the chasm.
fucking sick car containers. <laughs> Five hearts to go. I have thirty five hearts. Let's see. One, yeah, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that would leave a, uh, I believe, a gap of three. That's the one that has the quest. You're yeah, about dying to find it. <sighs> so that means we need to go to a yeah, Hateno village where the dye shop is. Can I just uh, make dye as an item? Do I have to use it? Hardy Truffles and Flint. But what if I try to, like, actually... Anything to whatever color you please. I can properly make uh, a die. first.
Uh, rock hard food. Honestly, I want to keep it just for the fact that I have a new recipe now. Exactly the best spot to let's get over there and re the situation. this way. Yeah, like, one thing that, uh, I was initially born of a misunderstanding, but uh, it's kept around by intentions. Is that uh, tomorrow being the finale of this game? Because my brain somehow thought, uh, oh, Final Fantasy 16, that's obviously going to come out on a Friday. No, it's coming out tomorrow, the 22nd, on a Thursday. But I'm not playing it day one. Uh, for two reasons. I don't know when the game is coming in uh, from the mail. I don't know how long it'll take to download. I definitely made sure I hopefully have enough room on my PS5 for that. But yeesh, that's gonna be a beast. time so the game is all here and downloaded and ready to go when the time comes. Since I have uh, my day off on Friday, I do plan to have a longer stream to kind of, yeah, celebrate this. No, mm. I'm a little unsure of. Uh, I don't think I'll do a 12 hour, I think I'll probably just do. A six hour like I do on Saturdays, which will start at three and go to nine.
for another morning. Skip Thursday for like whatever, just and just yeah, start on my own terms on Friday. Yeah, like there were points where I considered it 12 hour, but I'm like, nah, I actually do also want to have free time to do stuff in other games. Like, I need to catch up on events in Genshin because we're getting to the point where we're just like, okay, Fontaine is closed. It. My brain is like, oh, I need to get a die item somehow. Yeah, but it's not like I can just, like, make a black die or a purple die and just keep it in my inventory and then plop it on whenever I want. here. Totally missed. There we go. Yeah, 
over here. Oh, oh yeah, it's over here. Because yeah, it's the Rallus Channel Crystal. This one, I believe, is yeah, right down here. Now, I remember, yeah, I'm just like walking in, and the crystal is right there. So I picked it up to trigger the uh, shrine quest, and then left. Good. Yeah, it's right here. Yep, see, there it is. You give me a rocket, I'll use the rocket. In the way! Yes, yep.
Best is to make sure it doesn't move. I just realized I lost the crystal for, with the rocket. God damn it. <laughs> Let's I'll put you in a more convenient spot. Do I have? Here to go to a, yeah, another cave network. It actually uh, got a lot of yeah spots that I'll go to one uh, cave. Yeah, talk about the gloom spawn. This is here in the 
Bone Pond East Cave. You can see it has four entrances. One of the entrances is hiding inside the top skull. Maximum power! Let me out! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Thank you, I'm saying. A spirit thinking in order to find me here. I am wondering how I got here. <clears throat> Fine question. To explain to us, tell you about the blood moon. So, yep. It rises full and red, precisely at midnight, the whole sky turns crimson. <gasps> that V monsters appear again! There you have it. The blood moon! <sighs> hey, for Earth Research event, why do the monsters survive? What connection with the blood moon? Thought if I studied monsters ecology would discover something. <sighs> Got too close and here I am. Please take this or saving me. Oh. Another? Alright. Oh. No, I can't I can't insult you that pathetically small show of thanks. Take this too. <sighs> that is a first quarter moon. Doesn't look like a celestial bow, eager to shoot the sun. What courage? Oh. Doesn't she look like one? Well, I'm sure we'll meet again. Now quick, let's split up before a monster spots us. Yeah, that's not no quest or anything, he's just there and I can save him. So yeah, this is one way in. Oh. Yep. And before that, I had 
try him that way. Out of the frog. He's up here. The limit of in case it decides. So now we have, yeah, here. Also, Winter Island. I don't know if there's anything there. Ah, ah, ah. 
okay, just whatever. So yeah, like this I found off ca uh, camera and yeah, talk to this guy. Aww. Mm -hmm. And like he needs to go deeper into the <laughs> cave to find, uh, I believe his uh, Zora friend. But this cave has uh, tides. This is... Okay, so yeah, let's get the boat in the water first and then have him sit on it. Did it! I'm finally here! Thank you! Uh. Susan, look at you! You're so pale! Are you alright? Oh. I'm fine, really. So sorry I kept you waiting. <laughs> look at that, Susan! There's a stone emitting a serious light! Did you take a shrine that houses the blessed stone written of in that ancient manuscript? Oh. See any treasures like I was imagining? How disappointing. Mm. Finley, we journey to this cave only from Zora's domain in search of treasure. <sighs> really tough, but now the two of us have the memory of seeing this sacred shrine together. Uh. It means more to me than any treasure ever could. Oh. Sasan, uh. the treasure hunt. It was a blast. I'll never forget it. Right, this memory is the greatest treasure of all, truly. Thanks mm. for bringing me all the way here. It's because of you that Finley and I have this treasured memory. I see. I need to reward you. Take this, please. I insist. <laughs> Hooks up along the journey into the cave. I'd be overjoyed if I helped you out in some way. Ah. I said for you too. Another old bowl. Ah. Matches his. Ah. Way back to Zora's domain. Can't wait to tell Koda. The story from that ancient manuscript was ah. real. 
I should hold hands and we soon back so we don't get separated again. <laughs> um, this is difficult. Uh, if it's what you want, sure thing. Let's please just take it nice and easy on the way back. And off in the distance, you can just hear his cries of, oh, look, 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 as he's just dragged through the water at mock speed. Oh, who's there? <laughs> oh, I think have I miscounted something or is Missing two shrines. Oh no, wait, I'm missing one. Okay, please, that one is. This path yep. to get a pond. Oh. <laughs> this is a Korok detour I can take. to say something and then totally forgot what it was. I 
may have to put on the cooking pot. Yep, got put on the cooking pot. to deliver. Lake Intenok Cave Crystal.
There we go, we've come full circle. The fact that, yes, I could just make it a giant stone bridge across the lava was awesome. <laughs> if I lose a few hearts in the lava, I don't care that much since I'll be getting them all back in the shrine. Oh, that was actually too much. Close. Oops. 
Mo Shapin. visit Hesse real quick and just get some slots for yeah, bows and shields. Because again, now that I've maxed out weapons, I'm gonna probably really like just alternate around between bows and shields, but I think honestly I'm putting a bit more effort into shields just so I can just... Because I... I'm not, I'm not losing them that quickly! for another shield. Hmm? Oh, just four. That means twelve, though. I'm positive there's, like, some chests here in the Typhoid Ruins that probably have something good. But... Yeah, I'm focused on shrines today. Oh, <laughs> 
Oh, I think you're climbing out. Yep. Yep. Here's some good soldiers claim more stick. picture of oh. I can actually have really steep things this way.
for stuff I need to keep to take pictures of. directly the way in, okay. put on my cold gear. We got a loading zone! <laughs> okay, so like that cabin has you know, like somebody in it who's about to just like shield sledding. I gotta cross the freezing water. Oh no, I gotta get in the freezing water. Yeah, you 
you lose health fast. I need to change my uh, weapon, right, right, right. <laughs> Yep, the glance disguises these have improved. Now I can turn into objects as well as people. and then just fly south. Yeah, 
but Kopecky just gave. So it's basically another case of can you get past all of this? I think this is a case of yeah, you use that. is here. I think I don't need to build a whole bridge. Honestly, if I was on my own, I would definitely do that. But for now... Got proving ground. Intermediate. like how I can, yeah, just run behind the shrine entrance to just reset aggro.
trying to like get up
Another hearty elixir. of light, but I'm also missing uh, one more shrine marker. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I got eight orbs. So that means I'll have, yep, two more hearts and four more shrines. Uh, so that's basically once I have all the orbs, I'll be missing two hearts for my maximum. God, I turned him off. Man, you die so quickly in gold water. Yeah, but I need to get back over there for bubble frogs. Can I climb you? Okay. Away from anything, crap. Crap, and you, I don't remember what uh, possible cave to use. Trying out here in the open, I never noticed. Oh, we got a sh yep, a shrine quest. 
gonna have to go into the cave then to get the crystal. Oh, we got a high knock still holding it. a bunch of food with it. Is this like a loop that had a high knock in it? It might just be a loop with a high knock in it.
149. There's 152 shrines. Like these two in like the remaining shrine, which may be in the sky. Yeah, I'll have to do off camera since it's now nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. I might have uh, missed one from the depths, or as I said earlier. It could be in the sky. But yeah, like these remaining three, I'll probably just like unlock all of them and see if any of the, uh, which of them are blessings, which of them are proper shrines. But yeah, we'll open up tomorrow with grabbing the final light orb, see whatever that spawns, and then we're we'll heading beneath Hyrule Castle to find and hunt Ganon. It. And then Friday we'll have a bit of a, a longer stream for Final Fantasy 16. Till then, <sighs> it's been a bad ride, but I stream every day here on Twitch starting at 6 o'clock p.m. U.S. Central Time. And join me for the finale of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom on Nintendo Switch. Till then, good night, everybody.